Chaos in Baltimore. We've been following the story, but what are the stars and politicians saying about the violence? Let's take a look at some of the tweets and posts from the past few days of Baltimore burning on today's rehash. Now, these past few days, thousands tweeted as the Baltimore protests went from peaceful to dangerous riots, as we all saw, broke out in the streets. You can see the CVS building burning. Last night, though, Baltimore had a moment of peace, finally, as the community tried to repair itself. And coming up, you can actually see a boy handing officers some water. If we can get to that, I'd love to see it. There you go. You can yeah. see that image. That's just so wonderful to see. You can't say enough about that. Yep, and public figures such as Ray Lewis also going on mm -hmm. social media trying to reach the community. Baltimore, obviously very personal for Ray Lewis. He played his football career there. Uh, here was Lewis uh, speaking about the city's destruction. Get off the streets. Violence is not the answer. Violence has never been the answer. Freddie Gray, he, we, we don't do nothing for him doing this. And the sad part is, we got young kids trying to tell us how they're going to dictate our city. That won't happen. We must change this right now. Stop the violence, man. Go home. I'm telling you, go home. Obviously, Ray's reaction, extremely powerful and directed towards the youth of Baltimore. Here you can see young rioters hurling rocks. Look at that. Bottles and bricks at the police line. Uh, Colin Campbell, Baltimore Sun Night reporter, tweeted this video, as you just saw, of a police car window being smashed, obviously causing up a lot of reaction. And a lot of these, again, John, we, we keep talking about it, but... It's just it's, so raw. It, it is. It yeah. is. It doesn't look like it could be something happening in the United States. And it certainly doesn't look like it would be something that you would expect a 13 or 14-year-old or 15-year-old. Sadly to say, the majority of what you're seeing are actually teenagers. And that is true to a certain degree. But also, Miranda, what I keep coming back to, again, looking at this video yeah. on social media right away. In fact, these apps like Periscope now, right. look it up if you're not familiar. People were actually streaming themselves live, uh, both protesting and rioting and looting on the internet. This whole mm -hmm. thing was started by a meme on social media mm -hmm. telling these kids for the purge, as, as they called it. It was based off a, a movie. Yes. Correctly. And so yeah. is this any different or are we just getting a different look of this? And you see Ray Lewis, are things going to change now? We hear this impassioned plea from mm -hmm. him, but what is he going to do about it now? Um, let's see if he follows through and gets out there. And I think he will. I hope his message his gets across. I mean, thankfully, like we've been saying all morning, we're finally seeing some peace in that right. look more right. to an area, really. Politicians also had to weigh in about this. Of Everyone course. going on to their Twitter feed, Hillary Clinton weighing in here. Quote, tonight I am praying for peace and safety for all in Baltimore and for Freddie Gray's family. His death is a tragedy that demands answers. What do you think, Miranda? I mean, you she's have not to really, respond. I guess you have to respond. There's no connection with Hillary Clinton. Is she just doing this because she has to? I'm sure there's part of her feels uh, the empathy that we all feel and, and the uh, disgust and concern for the situation. But really, do we need a statement from Hillary Clinton? You know, I don't think we have to have a statement from Hillary Clinton. So in other words, you think it's just her saying something because to fill the space. I, I get what you're getting at. Um, is this kind of more a, another political move on Hillary's part. Well, everything. I mean, I think, you know, if you're going to run for president, every move you make is calculated but, and political. Okay, but let me respond by that. If she didn't say anything, people will be criticizing. It's a no-win situation. It, I'll it give her is. that. Okay. Former Baltimore Mayor Martin O'Malley expressed his concerns during the rioting last night with a very long tweet. There you have it. He actually cut his trip short to Europe to head back to the city. Some are saying that he is going to um, actually may make a run at at the presidency. Here's what he said though on Twitter. I'm sad that the city I love is in such pain last night. All of us share a profound feeling of grief for Freddie Gray and his family. Again, okay, so Hillary said it. Is, is this just a political move on Martin O'Malley's part? Well, I think for Martin O'Malley, I mean, this guy actually ran the city of Baltimore. He's taken a lot but of heat. Some people are blaming him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, him and a lot of the Democratic establishment that has run that city for the last 40 years. Um, 
you know, obviously the policies that have been in place have not worked to prevent this. This social mobility is not there in the city of Baltimore. It's not there in a lot of places. Uh, but Martin O'Malley taking a lot of heat from the citizens of Baltimore as he walked the streets last night. The article in the New York Times, mm -hmm. folks very critical of the promises he made uh, in the inner city uh, to these neighborhoods Let's that are seeing this. Let's not forget what Rudy Giuliani had to say, blaming liberal Democrats right. for that. But right. then you have the liberals coming out saying, no, it's, it's poverty, it's racial tension that's causing all of this. And for any of you, we're, we're big fans of the show, The Wire. Uh, that show seems to really reflect a lot of what's going on there. Yeah, I mean, we, I looked at the letter that was written at the end of the series by David Simon, one of the show's creator, very prophetic and telling. Again, he points out that it is a work of fiction, but the problems that are discussed in that show are very real. Coming to bear uh, today. We're coming right back. More coming here on Newsmax Now. John Bachman, Miranda Khan. We're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be back with more right after this.